Welcome everyone to our presentation. I'm Bart Oliver and I will present you our semester work with Sabu Mark. Our topic was to make a V2X communication between emergency vehicle and the traffic light in an intersection. V2X enable communication between a vehicle, with, for example, to another vehicle, to a cloud or to an infrastructure. In our homework, the task was to turn the light green for an emergency vehicle when it approaches the intersection. This will help the vehicle to pass the intersection easier because it will clean the road before it and blocks traffic from the other ways. Using this method, the emergency vehicle could go faster but safer too through an intersection. The system architecture is quite easy. Every vehicle has its own OBU, which means onboard unit, and one RSU, which means roadside unit, which plays on the bottom right of the intersection. These devices communicate with each other, sending relevant information about the light state, information about the environment, like if there is an accident or the vehicles are simply just slowing down in front of and have to pay more attention. Using this communication method would make the traffic more fluent. In the homework, we had to set up a plan to realize the task. The first thing to do was to make an intersection in Netadip2. There, we could choose the type of the intersection, set the light program, and generate random rows for the vehicles. Then we selected the place of the RSU, where it could be in real life on a lamppost. All the vehicles have the same type, except from the emergency vehicle, which we defined an ambulance type to differentiate from the others. Each OBU run the same C++ code, which communicates with the code on the RSU to change relevant information between them. For the whole project, we used Sumo Simulator, Omnet++ and Waze Network to make it work correctly. As I mentioned before, Every OBU runs the same C++ code on itself. We use three main information which are needed to select the emergency vehicle and turn the lights green. These informations are the vehicle ID, which every vehicle has a different one, the road ID, which tells the road where the vehicle is, and the vehicle type, which tells us the type of the exact vehicle. In our case, this could be default or emergency. The RSU sends back message to the OBO2, but it only tells the vehicle if it is on the way of the emergency vehicle and to go faster, not to hold up. The RSU receives information from the OBU and decides if there is an emergency vehicle or not in the intersection. If there is, the program switches the light to green and the others to red. We save the emergency vehicle's ID and follows the route of the vehicle to check whether it's left the intersection or still in it. If it detects another vehicle in front of the emergency vehicle, the RSU tells to that vehicle to go faster and move out the way. In our demo, we set up two emergency vehicles on different routes. The first vehicle will depart at 9 seconds from the left side and will go straight to the right. In this case, there won't be any vehicle in front of it, so just the light will turn green and the other stay red to block the traffic. In the second case, the emergency vehicle will start at 67 seconds from the bottom road and will make a left turn in the intersection. In this case, there will be vehicles at the red light in front. On the next slide, we can see how the program works in the simulation. There we can see the first emergency vehicle on the left. Now it left the intersection and the default program runs again.
soon the emergency vehicle will come from the bottom road and now the lights turn green. And the other vehicles are past the intersection and give road to the emergency vehicle. And when it left, the light program switches back to the default program. This was our presentation. Thank you for the attention and have a great day.